Greetings. We're excited to bring you the key new features in FL Studio 20.6. Let's jump straight in to a new plugin. We took the distortion from Harmer, Blood Overdrive, Fast Distortion, Soft Clipper, and Bit Crushing from Delay 3, then added filters from Flex, threw in a chorus based on Delay 3, and speaker cabinets from Convolver. Constructor. Nice. And the new plugins don't stop there. Fruity Voltage Controller controls up to eight channels of CV hardware, an analog method for communicating with synthesizers and drum machines. Let's see it in action. <laughs> Epic. Next, a new tool for the step sequencer. The time saving right click fill options for the step sequencer are great. Now we've taken it to the next level with an advanced fill tool. Perfect creative multiplier. Exporting. It's now possible to export direct to SoundCloud. From the export dialog, select upload to cloud. Then connect to your account. Give your track a title and optional description. Then choose if the track is public or private and start the render. If we go to SoundCloud, there's our track. Great. While you're on SoundCloud, check out the menu on the upper right and open for creators. There's a useful section dedicated to building your online presence with SoundCloud, including video tutorials and articles. Grow your audience, perfect. While we're in an exporting mood, there's a new function to export all playlist tracks. Similar to the split mixer tracks option, this renders each playlist track to a separate audio file. You can render with or without master effects and use playlist tracks as stems.
burn to MIDI. FL Studio now allows direct conversion of generated MIDI or note data to the piano roll. There are three cases, native components, plugins, VST or AU, and patcher. Let's check them, native components. In the case of the channel arpeggiator, just choose Burn MIDI 2. The pop-up is asking to disable the channel note effects, the arpeggiator, otherwise we would get an arpeggiated arpeggio. Nice! For VST and AU plugins that generate MIDI, like Cthulhu, Open the wrapper settings tab and choose any MIDI output port. The number doesn't matter, this is just a channel over which FL Studio can see the MIDI note data. After that it's the same as before, burn MIDI 2 and this time I'll select a new pattern. Copy that to a flex channel and I have the Cthulhu score. Easy. Finally, Patcher. This Patcher preset, Yotasaur, is a single note chord generator. Getting it, the note data is similar to VST and AU plugins. We just need to connect the event or note connection from the VFX or other plugin inside Patcher to a MIDI port in FL Studio. I'll drag the key mapper outputs, making the chords, onto FL Studio and choose MIDI port 0. If I burn to MIDI and replace Patcher with Flex, I have the score. Excellent. Automation Clips. You can now access Automation Clip articulation menus direct from the clips themselves. And now, perhaps even more people will discover the awesome, but quite hidden, Create Sequence tool. There's always hope. General Settings. The General Settings now has a menu to independently reset any or all warning messages. We've also added a new startup option, Open Last Project. Color selectors now show the default colors for associated controls and components. So if you've ever selected a dumb color for the playlist, and we've all done it, you can now easily get back to the default. If you use the macro Switch Smart Disable for all plugins, and you should, you can now disable this per plugin from the wrapper settings tab, and it will be remembered for future instances. This can be useful where plugins behave badly when Smart disabled, so even if it's selected here, the plugin won't react to the setting. And finally, for 20.6, we have updated plugins. Let's start with Flex. The reverb section now includes a modulation speed parameter. The tag section has a setting to search for patches with all or any tag selected. Useful. Don't forget to keep an eye on Flex as we're constantly adding free content for it, downloadable in the plugin. Fruity Granulizer now has a wave preview panel. Check your reality. Check your reality. Check your reality. Check your reality. 
This definitely helps using the plugin, particularly setting start points. MIDI out. For those of you using MIDI out with external hardware, we've added a transport flush menu. By default, MIDI out sends pitch, pitch bend range, and all notes stop MIDI data commands when the FL Studio transport buttons are clicked. This can cause unexpected behavior on some MIDI devices, such as resetting the patch you're using. So now you can isolate and fix the problem. And finally, New Time. We've split warping from New Tone and made it into a separate plugin, New Time. And it's included free with producer edition and higher. Let's check it. That's it. We know FL Studio 20.6 will inspire you to create your best music faster than ever. And we're proud to give it to you, all because we love your lifetime free updates. Enjoy.